Now it's time to welcome our next guest, Brad Williams, the founder of Brad Williams Financial Services in Huntsville, Alabama. He has over 30 years of experience focusing on financial challenges that face retirees, near retirees, and business owners. Brad, thanks so much for being back on the show. Oh, Dave, it's great to be back. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. And, and as, as, as being a friend of the income generation, uh, not to mention a personal friend of yours truly, you know, you just heard Ed Slott talk about how complicated these RMD rules can be. Are they really that complex? Or for 99% of the population, is it simple? Or, you know, in your experience, do, do people, are people really confused by these? I mean, talk to us about what you see with boots on the ground in Huntsville, Alabama. Well, as I work with clients, initially they are all confused. They think it's complex. And, and what they're really looking for is somebody to hold their hand through the process because there are different strategies you can use. You know, how do you, you know, do you take it from income? Do you take it from growth? Do you take it all out of one? Do you take it each equally out of, you know, say four IRAs, if you have four IRAs? So there, what I'm seeing is that people just want someone to coach them through the process and then they feel a lot better about it. So it sounds like from a planning perspective, you have a lot of tools that you utilize with your clients to be able to take advantage of RMDs maybe to be able to take it out of uh, certain accounts that may be lower yielding or certain accounts that might have a huge gain built in to be able to realize that you know, tax-free within the shelter of the IRA. Is that the type of planning that you like to do with people oftentimes? Yes, it is. It, you know, let's say you have a, an account that, that this year is really performing stellar and you have other accounts that are just mediocre in, in what they're in. Well, what I coach my folks is you know, let the let the good money run and let's take it from the other accounts and, and then we can take a look at, at another strategy next year. So uh, I don't know if Ed mentioned, but there's even talk that uh, I understand Congress passed a, a bill that would uh, raise the RMD age to, to 72. Well, that would be nice if it goes through. That'd be nice, yeah. So most people left to their own vices, 15 seconds or left in the segment if you can, just, you know, they, they would take it pro rata from each account, correct? So what you do to help them strategize is kind of over and above that. Exactly. You know, they'd call their custodians and just say, hey, I need my RMD, and they'd get it, and there wouldn't be much thought in the process. And, and the key is, is maximizing what you have. We need to take a break. We come back, though. We're going to ask you about the whole thing about taking it from gains or from principal or from interest or dividends. I want to get your feedback on that. And you stay with us also. We'll be right back with more from Brad Williams. This is David Scranton. You're watching The Income Generation. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We're talking with my good friend, Brad Williams, founder of Brad Williams Financial Services in Huntsville, Alabama. Brad, thanks for sticking around. Oh, great. No problem, Dave. So we talked about whether these RMDs should be taken from interest, dividends, from principal, from capital gains. And, and you know, I've talked about it, as you heard earlier on the show, we always talk about it. You and I always talk about it behind the scenes. But, you know, how many people really realize, come to you realizing that gosh, if they have any chance at all living to 90 and they're taking any principal at all at age 70 that they, they could run out of money? I mean, do people realize that intuitively on some gut level or, or do many not really catch on to that? Well, I think that's a, it's a fear they have. It's kind of like those people that you've probably encountered that show up at your office and they bring their statements and they haven't even opened the envelope and they got a stack of unopened envelopes. So I think that running out of money before they run out of life is one of those fears that they really don't want to talk about. And I think our job uh, as advisors is to ask the hard questions to get at the, at the, uh, the real answers. And that's where we come in and, and show them how do you take the RMEs? What is the best way? So, you know, you can easily show people that, gosh, if you're getting 2% in a CD inside an IRA and you have to take out four, you know, half's coming from interest, half's coming from principal. By the time you're 90, you're going to have it spent down. But, but a lot of people think if they're in mutual funds or in the market, well, gains and income are the same. They could take it out of gains. Um, but you and I know different. Do you find in the real world talking to people with boots on the ground every day that people really understand that when they're taking capital gains or essentially taking principal? Or do most people really don't understand that until you get to explain it to them succinctly? 
I think they don't understand it until they're until they're really until it's laid out for them. And most people don't even think of the fact that you go from the accumulation stage of your life to the distribution stage, and the strategies are different. So they've never had anybody say that they're Wall Street oriented broker. It maybe is all growth oriented and never really talked about that. Maybe they don't even have income tools available to them. So showing them what I get is that that flash of recognition in their eyes when you start talking about why they want to take their RMDs from the income and not the principal. Yeah, I mean, if you say if you say to somebody in that example, gosh, you're getting two percent dividend. You have to get two percent growth every year. You think you're going to get two percent growth each and every year? Well. They're going to say, no, of course not. So the question becomes, where does it come from in the years that you don't get to 2%? And right. the answer is principal. It's kind of as simple as that, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is. And, and most people just don't think of it that way. They, they think of their IRA as, as one unit, and they, just take, they need to take money out, and they take it out. They don't think where it's coming from. Yeah, and I guess part of the problem is you even have big financial companies out there saying it's about that number. It's about that number, how much you have the day of retirement. And they fail to realize it's not about that number, it's about the amount of income that that number can generate. So Brad, thanks so much once again for being on the show. Really appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Thank you, Dave, for having me. We need to take a commercial break. Stick with us. We'll be right back here on the Income Generation. I'm David Scranton. <laughs> 